Hello gorgeous pagan beans! My name is Eric and welcome to what will be my last video as your Wednesday substitute host here on The Pagan Perspective. Before I move too far into this video, I definitely want to recommend that you check out Kara's video from last week where she talks about the changes that are happening to the collab and her tentative vision for the future. Uh, so if you haven't seen that already, definitely check that out. Um, now, when I first joined the collab, the channel, um, my practice looked very different to what it does now. Um, I came to the, to the channel firmly situated in the Solomonic tradition, um, but I'm now coming up to a year of practicing Haitian voodoo, uh, so a big change, <laughs> um, but this change was initially a bit of a concern for me when it came to the channel um, and I even considered for a good while whether it would be better for me to like remove myself from the pagan perspective. Um, the last thing that I wanted to do was misrepresent a tradition I'm not even initiated in, um, but with the support of my mentors and the support of the other hosts, um, I decided to like stick with it. Um, so I've watched on over this year um, there's a bit of a storm going on, excuse any sounds or anything. Um, but as I've watched on over this year, I've seen the spirits like bring things into my life and remove them as they needed to. Um, like at the end of the year, uh, last year, I opened up a brick and mortar store. Um, and that was such a huge stepping stone for like meeting my business partner and building the confidence in myself that I could even do something like that and be successful at it. Um, but then when COVID hit us in March, um, my business partner and I decided we'd close the store. Um, and maybe we'll reopen in the future in like a new location somewhere. Um, but I feel like the Loire used that situation to teach me certain lessons and to help me to learn new things about myself. Like this year they've really forced me to slow down and turn inward in what feels like preparation for my initiation, I guess. Um, like these trials, the, initi the initiation has already begun. Um, and I think as well, like with Mercury retrograding through Scorpio right now, um, that introverted energy is only like more pronounced. Um, but this calling in seems to be happening to like a lot of spiritual people I know. Um, it's like our spirits are just saying like, hold on a second, you know? <laughs> um, so as I watch this transition happening on the channel, I'm reminded actually of a workshop that I got to be part of by Kim Fairminer. She is a wonderful Australian astrologist, <laughs> an astrologist. Um, you should check her out actually, I'll leave her link in the description. Um, but I was listening to her speak about the moon and the moon phases and their application in magic, and she was talking about the waning moon, the dark moon, and gave a wonderful analogy of how the waning moon was like a garden. Um, so when plants in a garden come to their natural endings, they break down and they become the mulch, the fertilizer that allows new, new life to spring forth. Um, and this always stuck with me after that workshop um, and became like my default meaning for the death card in the tarot, like talking about natural endings, um, always like necessary, sometimes painful, but totally natural and, and you know, normal. Um, and that's how I'm sort of thinking with this, with what's going on in the Pagan Perspective. Um, it's coming to a natural end so that the last 11, 12 years um, can be turned into a fertile soil from which something new can be born. Um, so that's sort of how I'm thinking with this. But if you're interested in hearing like more of my thoughts in the future, I will link my personal channel as well below um, and like my handle on social media. I'm Eric Adish everywhere so I shouldn't be too hard to find. Um, but yeah, I've had an absolute ball being part of this collab, and it's something that I'm really proud to be able to say I was a part of. Um, like, this has been an invaluable first-hand resource documenting the diversity of the pagan community for over a decade. Like, wow. <laughs> um, so like, yeah, huge props and huge thanks to everyone who has ever been involved, past members, current members, um, you know, who, who have made me feel so welcome. Um, and even you guys who watch, who send in your wonderful questions, like, I really look forward to the future of this channel and I am subscribed with my bell notifications on, um, so I can't wait to see what comes next. Um, but be sure to join me in other places on the internet. And yeah, so long, beautiful pagan people. Mwah, bye!